why you thought it against the combat? Because it's the right thing to do. Um, it's the right thing to do because if families are being looked after and uh, and, um, and and they realise that that's that's going on, then it makes these lads' life a lot easier, a lot easier. And not just that, not 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 just because of that. It's because we want to. You know, we feel like we're one big family, and that's how it should be. Yeah, it's been a huge help. Um, takes some of those stresses away in terms of trying to organise things off the pitch, and uh, you know, all the the partners and families have been flying over, uh, looked after by the by the management and uh, hotels, put up everything. So it's. Uh, Everything was looked into in terms of our performance, and uh, we have to pay it back now. Tommy, and are you a permutations man? Are you across uh, all the numbers and everything, or are you doing this as a knockout, do or die, rugby match and Saturday night? Oh yeah, we we want to win. It's um, it's a it's a massive game. It's so important to 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 um, to us, and certainly obviously to them, but to to the travelling fans and the people back home, etc. It's, it's, it's a huge game. Um, we have Ian Henderson in our group. He's good, at, he's good at maths, so we're across everything as far as that's concerned. But the easiest way is to make sure that we uh, we, we uh, perform well and, and deserve to, to, to win the game outright. Liam, yes. as Ian Henderson being in over James, is that a case for James just missed out on a few reps towards the end of the week? Like, Is, is he 100 Fit to play. He is. He's, he's fit, and he had a bit of a, a niggle on a, a wrist, but that's fine. And um, train train the host. I actually trained the best I've seen him train in in a good uh, good amount of years. Uh, yesterday, he actually nearly took Johnny's head off three or four times. So he's he's uh, he's fit and ready to go. There's no doubt. And if I could just ask both of you for your thoughts, Peter and Manny making his 100th cap this weekend. Oh well, what, we can. We can sit here all day, the two of us, and, um, and and talk about what he what he brings, what he what he means to us all, um, what type of bloke he is, what type of family man he is, etc. We we we'd be here at the whole press conference, but I I would say he's he's to sum him up, he's selfless. I mean, some some you guys would see the performance on the pitch, and it's heroic from from Pete. Like you know, you can see the what it means to him to play for Ireland, etc. But we. Obviously, see behind the behind the scenes, and he's definitely one hundred percent one one of the one of the best I've ever seen at making the dressing room feel right, and 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 it's not it's not just a skill; it's him being himself because it's genuine, you know. And I'm sure Johnny would echo this that there's no better man that you would want on the side of, sat at the side of you in, in in the dressing room at the weekend than Peter Miner. He's a, a selfless player that. Um, Gives everything to his teammates, a fantastic teammate, uh, top draw as far as the teammate is concerned. And he backs that up with consistent performances um, uh, week in, week out uh, for Ireland and for Munster. Yeah, he's, he's been a great friend of mine uh, over the last however many years we've been playing together, probably 12, 10, 11, 12 years, I'm not sure exactly. Um, like if I said, a consistent form, big game player, um, I would say. Um, obviously, leader in the group. Um, very different to, to some of the other leaders. Like, but he's got his, you know, he knows the dressing room. He knows uh, he's such a huge part of it. I don't think you guys get to see the real Peter Armani. He gives very little away when he when he sits up here. Uh, one word answers. Uh, but he's the light and soul of the dressing room behind behind closed doors and. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a privilege to play with him all the time, and um, we'll be playing for him as much as we are for ourselves on, on Saturday. Just uh, Johnny, uh, you came into the hardship against the Southampton back row. How's the body now? How have you held up in that few weeks? Yeah, good. Um, I suppose the, the game, in terms of from my return to play, it was definitely the most physical, uh, clearly. Um, so it was, it was tough, but we I suppose the week off came at a good time. Um, we had a few days off after the game, so it was probably three or four days where I could chill out and, and relax and, and try and unwind a bit from what was a hectic first few weeks and then build again for, for this massive game. I think the, the, sorry, just a few I need to get around. Johnny, can you describe the particular challenge you're trying to get to Ben Russell? 
well, like I've said, any time I get asked about another at half, it's never it's never us against each other. It's it's our teams. You know, you know, you need to as an at half, you rely so much on the guys around you, um, and you know, it's very rarely we'll tackle each other. Very rarely that you know we'll have a head to head, but um, you know, we're both in charge of the teams that we're playing for. Um, but he's an outstanding player. He's got you know full bag of tricks, and uh, yeah, we we've had to prepare. Uh, thoroughly to, to face him. Yeah, um, he, he pulled up with a hamstring, unfortunately for him, at the end of the session on, on Tuesday. And the diagnosis um, with hamstrings, they, they, they want to see how things settle down um, and probably takes about five days for, for that type of thing to happen. But it looks like it could be a minimum of a, of a couple of weeks at this stage. Well, obviously, we'll we'll um, we'll assess that as we go. Certainly, um, um, he'll be around and, and rehabbing, uh, and we'll see how the weekend goes with other injuries, etc. And assess how Robbie's going along the way as well. Also, thanks. Um, sorry, Gavin, you're second. Yeah, I just wanted to ask with Stuart McCroskey. He's obviously had the greatest time on the as well. It's been a lot of fun. I think he's taken the news as He's been he's been excellent as as everyone else that's um, um, not played as much game time as they possibly would have would have wished for. Um, his attitude has been top draw, and the message to to those guys that has been all along that you've got to be ready, um, and your attitude has got to prove that um, day in day out, and it certainly has, as far as everyone's concerned. The Stu's one of those, and he's ready to to slot in and ready to go. Um, look, it was a very special uh, atmosphere, a very special occasion in that South African game, and you know we enjoyed it after. And I think the fact that we had a game off, as in the weekend off, um, allowed us to do that. Normally, if you have a game the following week, you almost have to start preparing straight away. But you know we enjoyed the the night and the celebrations, and then it's back down to Scotland. But in terms of this week, I know there's lots of Irish fans coming again. I'm sure the Scottish fans will travel, so it'll probably make for even more special atmosphere because it'll be 50-50, I'm sure. Slide, last question for line section. Sorry, Please. does it feel like a knockout Sorry. game? Yeah, well, it is. Yeah. Um, it is a knockout game, yeah. We've viewed it as like a last 16 and uh, we've spoken about it and uh, that's why it's important that we got our preparation right and, um, yeah, we need to go out and get our performance right now.